okay subflow just say i have these three tasks creation okay uh, this task this task and this task and these three tasks are common tasks for close to 200 workflows or 20 workflows like a variable set okay so every time uh, like said so not only for dl creation maybe for other workflow for other workflow for other workflow okay task creations there are three standard tasks to be created for those 20 or 30 catalog items okay first point is that clear ma yes yes everyone clear so there are three ta three tasks okay one two three and the, ta the three tasks are common for 20 30 catalog items same configurations first one is should go here maybe this way you can say or one after one this one should go and then once it is completed maybe it should create and once it is completed it should create okay that flow or this flow whatever it could be okay parallel tasks are normal tasks whatever one by one these three are common for multiple workflows this is our first point first one clear everyone please acknowledge ma yes yes one yes others yes sir. yes okay now how we do normally okay if it is like a variable set what you do variables variable set you club it into one variable set and then you use it wherever you want it include in right here if i don't have that kind of option what i need to do in 20 30 catalog items i need to again and again and again add it and then configure it agree yes yes okay so now we have something called subflow subflow is not a separate concept it is a workflow okay what i am doing is i am creating a new workflow here see here tasks subflow generic okay and then i am selecting the same table because it should not be more other it is like the same table it is very very simple concept don't confuse very very simple okay so here what i am doing is how you want to define you can define it same thing okay branch if you want one one after other maybe you can select the other way okay let's say like this okay i don't want branch one but i want three tasks here one task one okay so select one here right and then second task I'll end up till this point my time now so if you can create multiple so see here you are defining a separate workflow only it doesn't mean like it is a subflow or something you are defining a set of activities okay the activities will run when they trigger okay so let's say like this maybe you can just uh, say uh, timer okay so you are just adding one more okay just to see it, it should not feel like it should be only for tasks it should be for everything okay five seconds and then you can create one incident here okay if you want to create i'm just adding all of them what we can add and you can add if condition also but it should be very generic if condition okay so because it is being attached to many many one no? what we are doing you can create incident right so just say uh, sqfx and assignment group service disk Okay. now see this is a what is this this is a workflow okay so i'll just save it okay now this is our common workflow i'll, I'll just refresh it once it means publish it so that it will reflect the changes here hmm. so what 
our point is this particular flow is common flow for many of the same type of workflows or catalog items maybe application installation is there or application request is there or maybe onboarding is there user onboarding something 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 is there where you have a series of steps they are very 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 common for all the catalog items catalog item is same workflow is almost same but something will change here but after it is approved then from here everything is same you are getting it ma this point is clear yes everyone is that is that clear everyone yes okay so now what i do is instead of creating all of them again and again and again what i do is okay i'll I, I'm just removing everything ma. Okay, maybe I can uh, give me one second instead of removing it. I'll just uh, unlink them. Our our workflow become messy. Okay, so what I do is where is this? Okay, once it is approved, what I'm doing? Okay. Here, what uh, I am using one more one, so uh, generic, okay, generic task workflow. I am adding a another workflow into this workflow, okay. Don't do anything here, just submit it, okay, and link it here, okay. So, this one which we added is called as subflow subflow to workflow main workflow okay like this you can add this workflow see here you added only once you saved it means published it okay it came under the workflow list and you just dragged it and dropped dragged and dropped it as a same activity one activity okay as it is there inside the workflow it is called as subflow now test it testing is very important for it okay so now till this point clear my everyone yes Yes. yes okay i will get some message now another great class <laughs> okay so see here uh, from our students now every every day not every day but whenever they feel like uh, they learnt very good content now i will be receiving immediately one message okay a great class yeah. today <laughs> that's cool i am not revealing the names okay so see here okay so see the flow ma so when you see flow this is what is very important okay so here uh, this flow here this is main flow okay dl creation is main flow it came here and then it checked approved approved it set and then it, it is it came to it came and hit the flow subflow subflow now it is same like one activity for this main workflow but subflow is running now Okay, so here also you can see two things here. Okay, one main flow, one subflow, right? The subflow is running now. So sub, this main flow will go to this one until the subflow completes successfully. So here begin, end. Now you are here, right? So it created one task, close it. So task for ST created, okay, closed it. Okay, anyway, it's fine. It, it moves to next action only, okay? So it moved, then refresh here. Okay, still the main flow in the main flow subflow is running. Okay, and in subflow, uh, second activity came. Okay, second activity just hit here. Okay, it is came. So, same thing, same way. If it is the same activities in your current workflow or subflow, the behavior is same. Okay, this is also completed. Just refresh here. It is waiting for five seconds. I think timer five seconds. And then it should create a mm -hmm. five seconds only now we kept or five yeah, five hours how much we kept no five seconds only right huh. yes, sir. Only five, seconds. five seconds okay and then it created one more incident okay just come here and refresh here i think it's not a place we need to refresh it is a place we need to refresh okay so uh yeah i didn't select the table incident i just give an incident create incident but it is task only okay i think i see here what is that meaning is i didn't select the incident table here i just given the name only okay but task is task table only okay so it created a task general task okay so once it is completed 
So let's complete this also. So the workflow will be ended and it will report back to the main flow stating that okay it is completed now once it is completed so this one once this is done it will end once it will end it will go to the main form and then it will move to the next one so it refresh it now and see okay so it is the subflow all the activities of subflow completed it moved to next and it moved to next and subflow is ended from begin to end okay so what is subflow is subflow is nothing but an activity here people will get always confused and they feel like it is a big 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 topic it is nothing it is a simple workflow and the workflow will be added into another workflow as a subflow clear yes yes i know okay. yes so see here if we see change you know okay change how some subflow att att attached wherever you see the symbol okay workflow symbol that is a subflow so see here uh, where you can see that symbol here just observe it ah, see here in normal change okay they added one subflow this is called subflow means another workflow workflow is change tasks na change ta normal change task this one okay so cancel this normal change task okay so till this point it will come and here normal for change create task creation na they created something here they created two tasks okay using branch and join and the two change tasks will be created once this is done then this will progress to next okay the it is not loading it will load because okay so this is the example for subflows and this is subflow it is very very simple clear ma yes okay so i will end up here okay subflow